Already in one month, on nine occasions, uncrossed warnings to leave our waters have had to be given to Guardia Civil vessels in the area. Well, now, here at the United Nations, I formally challenge Spain to act in keeping with the spirit of the Charter and the established principles designed to avoid the escalation of disputes. I formally challenge Spain to agree to a reference to the International Court of Justice or the International Tribunal of the Law of the Sea to finally settle this matter once and for all. But I know they will not agree. They are scared to test their feeble claims in court whether in respect of our indisputable right to self-determination or of our indisputable territorial waters. That, Mr. Chairman, is Spanish diplomatic hypocrisy at its worst. And it must mean that they are holding out hope that you will never take steps to determine the facts of the case of Gibraltar. They know that if you do, you would then dismiss all of their propositions out of hand as no more than international legal nonsense. I invite Spain to come back to the table to talk on all matters of mutual interest. I invite Spain, Mr. Chairman, to avoid turning its back on a process for dialogue which was subscribed to by its predecessor government and which has been welcomed by this committee and the fourth committee. I invite Spain, Mr. Chairman, to resolve the issues between us in the international courts, which is where disputes should be resolved, between parties who are all integral parts of the European Union and NATO as we are. And finally, Mr. Chairman, thanking you for your time, I will therefore maintain, of course, the position which I set out last year, and I respectfully invite Spain to finally follow us into the 21st century and drop its claim to our land. Thank you very much for your time.